match with a 15-minute time limit, and this one should be a goodie. And you're going to see why right now when you take a look into the ring and see who we've got in there for you. You are looking there at Eric Froelich just getting into the ring. Eric Froelich at 225 pounds, and Eric's partner on this particular match is Vern Siebert. Vern Siebert, and they're going to be up against an interesting combination here. Grizzly Evans from Tom Sock Mountain, Missouri. And his partner is going to be Terry Adonis. Terry Adonis from Miami, Florida. As we're really mixing them up here. Haven't seen Terry Adonis wrestling with uh, other partners other than Bruiser Costa. And I don't know whether that means that we've got a little bit of a war going on between Bruiser and Terry again. But frankly, we'll try and dig into that a little later and let you know. But it should be one great match. Vern Siebert and Eric Froelich. You're looking at right there on your camera. And as we said, this will be a 15-minute time limit as we get underway on our first tag team match of the day. Got some great wrestling coming your way on All-Star Wrestling, as we said, as we usually do. Got a great match coming up, a little bit of tape of the match between Master Sergeant Conco and Bulldog Brown. That'll be coming up a little later. We'll have Carl Batterman versus Mike Allen. That's going to be a great match. Also, Jerry Morrow will be up against Mr. Pro later on in today's show. So as we said, promising you some great wrestling. Vern Siebert, right now up against Terry Adonis. Terry Adonis from Miami, Florida, in his 11th year now of professional wrestling. Was one of the BC Blondes when he was uh, tied in there with Bruiser Costa. Oh, uh, Bruiser's not that blonde anymore, as he pointed out. Fell like Grizzly Evans. Grizzly Evans up against Vern Siebert. And Grizzly Evans just picking Siebert up and walking him around the ring. Siebert now trying to get his legs around and does get his legs around. Grizzly Evans couldn't do an awful lot with him when he had him down there. Trying to work back the other way. Grizzly Evans now. Trying to work on the head of Vern Siebert. Grizzly Evans getting a bit of a choke in on Siebert. And a quick tag. In comes Terry Adonis. Adonis working on Siebert. Uh, a little bit of slapping and shoving. And once again, Vern Siebert tried to work that leg takedown, and that didn't fly too well. Terry Adonis came back on that one. I'd like to once again say thank you to all of the fans who drop a line along to All-Star Wrestling. I'd like to let you know how much we really do appreciate receiving the mail. Certainly uh, speaking for myself, Ed Carl, and for all of the fans and the wrestlers, we uh, like to see those letters coming through. You can drop a line to All-Star Wrestling, Post Office Box 8888, Vancouver, B.C. We'd love to hear from you with your letters. And uh, I'd like to say uh, especially large hello here today to uh, Carol Peterson from Prince George. And uh, Carol, enjoyed your letters. Thank you very much. Kelly Miller says, I've been watching All-Star Wrestling for some time. Really enjoy watching the men, but would like to see some women on our All-Star Wrestling. And also a little more of the midgets. I would like to get some information on where the nearest wrestling schools are for women. From Kelly Miller. Kelly, have you heard about the uh, Ed Carl School of Wrestling? Let's be starting very shortly. Drop me a line, I'll tell you all about it. And I'd like to also say uh, W. Racetrick from Kelowna. Enjoy your letters. Thanks very much. And all of the letters that we receive on All Star Wrestling. Again, if you'd like to drop us a line at Post Office Box 8888, Vancouver, D.C., and drop it along to yours truly, Ed Carl, or drop it along to any one of the wrestlers. Name your favorite wrestler. And if you're going to be in Vancouver and would like to attend All Star Wrestling uh, here at British Columbia Television, you're most welcome to drop us a line. You can drop it to six All Star Wrestling. We'll certainly see if we can't get some tickets out to you. You're welcome to come. The tickets are free, but you do have to drop us a line. Love to have you in our studio audience. We've got quite a match going out here. Eric Froelich now against Grizzly Evans. Grizzly Evans with the brute strength. And Eric Froelich with the speed and finesse. Two entirely different styles of wrestling. Our referee is Bruce Brown. Eric Froelich coming off the rope. Ran right into those crossed arms of Grizzly Evans. Now here's Terry Adonis. Terry Adonis working over Eric Froelich. And 
of course, Grizzly Evans is kind of hanging on him in the corner. Bruce Brown trying to control the situation. Bruce having a real problem. Controlling these fellas as they do get out of hand pretty easily. The tag team matches are tough. You can hear our fans yelling to Eric Bullock. As Eric has always been a great fan favorite. Look at the move. There you see a little bit of the speed of Eric Bullock. As he slips out from under that hold. Works the arm back. But here comes Grizzly Evans. Grizzly Evans coming in from the quarter. And Eric Froelich really pouring the pressure on Terry Adonis. Bruce Brown looking him over. He's Eric Froelich trying to spin him around. Get those shoulders down. He does get a one count. There's a two count. Getting powerfully close on this one. We're in the fifth minute of this 15-minute time limit match. Jerry Adonis really taking a lot of pressure here from Eric Froelich, but look out, here comes Grizzly Evans, you bet. Grizzly Evans sliding into the ring. And Grizzly Evans got that hole broken up rather nicely. Got quite a match going here. Also sitting at uh, ringside at the moment, just dropped down to join us is Moose Morowski. Moose? I just want to mention, tonight we're in Cloverdale, and that's where all the action's going to be. Sergeant Al Thompson, the great Moose Morowski, the first time tag team combination. We got Dean Ho and that referee. I don't even know his name, but I think his name is... Bob Steele. Yes, Bob it could be. Steele. Well, he poked his nose in a match the other day, in, a couple of weeks ago in Cloverdale, which he had no business butting in in my match and reversed the decision. I had Dean Hope beat one, two, three. My hand was raised. I was declared a winner. All of a sudden, at a clear blue sky, this guy comes in the ring, reverses the decision with Bruce Brown, and Bruce Brown turned around and disqualified me and raised Dean Ho's hand, which made him the winner. Well, I got news for the people of Cloverdale this Saturday, because we are going to get even. When we get finished with Dean Ho and this steel, this punchy referee, he'll be out of action for the rest of his life, because I'm fed up with it. Well, Moose, I, uh, I would expect that that'll turn into quite a battle. Anything that you seem to get involved in turns out to be Over quite a battle. Cloverdale is where the action's going to be. Get there. Are you still a member of Master Sergeant's Army? I'm still there, and we're going to be there till it's end. Well, there you heard it, Moose Morowski. Still a member of the Master Sergeant's Army. I may be all wrong about that. we got some beating to do, and we're going to do it. I've been saying all along that I didn't think Moose Morowski would, uh, would stay with Master Sergeant Tomko's Army that long, and... Uh, I may have to eat those words. It's going to look like I'm wrong at that point. Eric Froelich and Terry Adonis in the ring right now. That's Froelich trying to work over to his corner if he possibly can and uh, pick up that tag from Vern Siebert. It's going to be very hard to do. And one of our regular fans down at ringside. Hanging on the wrestlers just a little bit, Jesse. And 